Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. The adventures of this merchant king shall continue, but first, just a quick look at how he feels based on what he's recently experienced. He was there when Husn Fulk fell, which certainly had an impact on him, but he figured it is the front line of a war, he is a mere merchant, it won't be anything more than just that. But unfortunately, as he's traveled through the lands, he's noticed people giving him awkward stares, he certainly feels like an outsider, and so he's a little uncomfortable. He's also almost certain that the headgear he was keeping as a memory of home was stolen from his uh, sacks from his inventory. He may have given it away in error, but he's on edge right now and he's a little nervous about that. And despite the fact that more men are now willing to flock to his banner thanks to his hard work in making the al Eat clan a bit more prestigious, he's not sure if he wants to introduce more Imperial soldiers. The ones that have fought alongside him thus far might have some loyalty, but what happens should he decide to join his brothers to the south in this war and uh, some new recruits decide to betray him? He's just uncomfortable with that. Now, fortunately, he is at the borders over here and he might just head on over and speak to the Lords of the Kuzait to understand more about the uh, the current quest at hand, Nerezzi's folly. Of course, he's spoken to Regea and Lucan. Enough work done with the uh, folks of the Empire and its many fractions, or factions, I should say. Uh, now it's time to move away and perhaps seek, uh, you know, seek safety from those gazes off in the distance. So we're going to make our way over to Kazate territory, folks, and we're going to try and speak to some lords over there and recruit some troops who are non-imperial, feel a little bit more comfortable around our own folks, perhaps. We'll head south after going over to Makeb, head south back home, and maybe try to assist locally with uh, looters and bandits and things like that to help uh, free up the armies of the Asarai so they can actually partake in this war. We are a mere merchant, but again, we dream for bigger things and we wish to get involved and help however we can. Uh, and of course, uh, if in any way, shape or fashion, we can hurt the Empire in this war without being directly involved until we're a you know, stronger force, uh, I think uh, Partia would very much like to do that if possible. So folks, that's the uh, intent of this session. Hopefully this chapter will be a successful one as we head south, head towards the homelands. We are homeward bound, but there is of course work to be done on route. Hopefully recruit some more troops, get some uh, Kuzet nomads perhaps. Uh, I would like to get some Kuzet uh, horsemen if possible. Of course that is uh, what they're most known for, but I, I, I will as we head further south uh, take what I can get. Now, in terms of the journey ahead, we've got about 15 days worth of food, which is, I don't think, going to be uh, enough. If we find food cheaply anywhere, then we should most certainly purchase it to ensure that our men don't starve. Uh, so hardwood here is fairly cheap, actually. So I could, you know, load up on some over here because we will require it uh, for our smithing and, and smelting and uh, that method of acquiring uh, wealth. So let's go ahead and just purchase a little bit. Might as well, right, where it's available cheaply. And let's continue our journey southwards and, and see if we can't pick up any uh, any new recruits. Folks, as I make my way down to Mazen here, I just want to mention, if you'd like to see more Banner Lords on this channel, the best way to make sure that happens is by letting me know with a like and a comment down below. Personally, I'm very interested in uh, in covering Banner Lords a lot. I'm a big fan of role-playing and... Oh, 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 hello. Uh, of role-playing and, and role-play games, and if you're enjoying that approach, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. If you have any feedback, I'm always open to it. So let me know down below, folks, as we chase after Montug over here, uh, who is, I think, just a touch faster than us, but he's certain to stop somewhere. So I'm sure we'll be able to catch him and speak to him about, uh, again, the task at hand. And he has stopped over here. Let me quickly investigate something, actually. At Makeb, are we able to perhaps purchase... Sorry, not troops. Are we able to purchase... Any horses. The Sumter horses are an acceptable price. You can see, in fact, if we have this op open here, um, 3.74, and take a look at the footman on horses number there. If I go ahead and purchase a few more horses, that will go, well, not up by enough, but it will go up. The step horse is a little expensive, and I could get some more mules to increase my carry capacity, but I don't feel like that's necessary right now. I do want to increase my speed, though, slowly but surely, to make sure we're traveling uh, more quickly and we don't find ourselves in a situation where, uh, you know, uh, a noble is able to, to get away from us um, when, when we're trying to chase them down. So let's give it some time over here, see if he leaves anytime soon, and try to catch him as he does. And you know what? We'll help him in this uh, battle, and uh, maybe it'll make him a bit more open to us. Uh, we need friends in this uh, interesting time. 
we'll definitely do well. Men to arms. Our first battle of the day. Oh my. Oh my. Can barely see anything. I might do a little bit of post work so it's clearer to see. Infantry! Infantry. Move! Oh boy. <laughs> I'm barely gonna have a chance to participate. In we go. This is the kind of fighting I look forward to doing. Uh, should I join forces with some uh, men of the Kuzate? We'll be able to ride through like this. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, just missed him. Loop around. Our men are trailing behind, as expected, of course. We are merely on foot. But they are eager to join, and that's what matters. They are eager to join. Oh, this one's mine. Enemies are fleeing. Let me get this one. Oh, come on. Yes! Lovely. Now, hopefully our friend here has, uh, has noticed me. Has witnessed me and my task. And hopefully, we have gained a little bit of morale. Ah, I was hoping for some renown as well, but I'll take what I can get. And let's speak to Monchug here and see what we can maybe uh, get off of him. Oh, torn padded garments, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And come on, let us speak. Abba guy, stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. My name is Partia, madam. May I ask your name? You're Abba guy of the Ar Arkit. Our clan has loyally served the Kuzate Kanate. Canate, sorry, for generations. She'll remember my name. Okay, so can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? You weren't there, but Monchug was, as expected. So I, I, obviously, I chased after the wrong army there. Monchug is who I intend to speak to. If I could just... Just... There we go. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Ah, apparently he didn't notice my deeds in that battle. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask yours? I am Monchug, Khan of the Kuzates. I am Lord of Makeb and Taikand. I don't know your name, but no matter. Some say there is greater honor to found a great lineage than to be born with one. Oh, I like him. I like him. My good sir, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? Yes. The Emperor Niretsis had offered to hire our warriors as mercenaries. I saw nothing wrong with that. The Empire was an old bear, well-fed, slow-moving. It wanted to keep what it had. The Sturgeons were, and are, hungry wolves, like us. Sometimes wolves hunt in packs, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes one wolf wants the lion to kill his rival. Most of those who went were Kurgits. They are a young clan. Their lineage is not like ours. They were always looking to prove themselves. Anyway, at the battle, their Noyan Gotug was slain alongside most of the males of his house. What can I say? A thirst for glory is dangerous, both to the thirsty one and those around him. That's, an, that's something that Partia will keep in mind. Clans rise, clans fall. My duty is to all the Kuzates. Look at it this way. Were it not for her husband's death, Lady Misui would never have inherited the leadership of the Kurgits. Death creates opportunity. The survivors of a great battle make a great show of mourning, but inside they rejoice. Thank you. That was uh, enlightening in more ways than one. Uh, so if we take a look at our progress here, 3 out of 10 spoken to. And uh, in terms of rebuilding our clan, still some money to make and a companion to hire as well, which is something uh, we'll hope to do down south. So let's continue our journey uh, towards Usek now. Just make our way down and see if we can't, uh, yes, hire some, uh, some horsemen to our cause. A couple looters here and there that we might uh, engage. Ah, Kuzet Noble's son. My oh my, quite expensive, but... An interesting friend to make, perhaps. That should be should be a good time. And as far as food is concerned, we got 13 days worth of food. Fair, fair enough. Down to Chaikan. We might take a look at uh, making some trade as well. That would be a good idea as we make our way down here. And let's see what, uh, what they have that's cheap. And again, we're most comfortable with trading these kinds of goods, right? They have beer for cheap. Mmm, for 33 apiece. I mean, that might be a, a worthwhile pickup. Uh, we'll leave it be for now. Beer, that, that's a little pricey still. And I have no confidence about uh, news further down south. It might be plentiful. Now, salt. 27 is relatively cheap. We can, we can pick some up. Hopefully uh, sell it further down, where uh, salt is not so plentiful. Let's go ahead and take uh, 20. Spent 565 on salt. <laughs> I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Let's go ahead and leave. And make our way down to uh, maybe pick up some grain at Okutan. Help uh, feed our men on this long journey, right? It's plentiful here, so 
It should be cheap, I should hope. 10. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, what have we got over here? About 12 days worth of food. Sure, let's stock up a little bit. Excellent. And let's head further down south. Oh, actually, sorry. I should check to see if there aren't any more horsemen I can bring. Again, I am comfortable on horseback, and I would like some more, uh... Some more to fight by my side, obviously, as I charge ahead. I'm almost certain that down south the Asari will join me on horseback, at least some of them. Almost certain, I say. Salt will be plentiful here. Um, but let's see. No, no such luck. It's okay. Now this is where things start to get a little dicey. Again, we'll, we'll be traveling through some Imperial land. We can make our way over to uh, Akisar Castle and just try to avoid, you know, the, uh, the danger of traveling through Imperial land. Um, now again, just as a reminder to those of you that uh, don't, maybe are not familiar with this channel, I am a big fan of uh, role play and, and using that to affect my approach as much as possible. Just think it makes it more interesting, right? Down to uh, Tismil here. Might be able to sell our salt this far away from uh, where we picked it up. And some looters that we might be able to engage shortly after. No troops to bring on. Unless Alpan of Tismil has a quest for me. Unfortunately, no. Ah, uh, no. Nothing worth questing for here. Let's take a look at our opportunities for trade. Salt. This is cheap here as well. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Continue. Definitely want to make more than 500 if I'm going to sell that salt. Let's see if we can't engage some of these looters. Pick something up off of them. They're fairly slow. We should be able to catch them. Step bandits I want to avoid as much as possible because they will uh, have men on horse and that will be troublesome for me at this stage. There we go. Excellent. What do I want with you? I want your death and all that you're carrying. All that you're carrying. Two arms men. Once more. Infantry! Warriors! Go there. Onwards. Horse archers on me. me. Alright, let's do this. Let's see how well we can uh, soften them up before they get too close to our friends, obviously. Oh, went real wide there. Come on now. Oof. Square in the face there. There he is. You not have... Uh... There we go. Beautiful. Horse archers, attack! All right, so he'll stay fighting while I can go in into melee. Ooh, good hit. Nice. Right in the face. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. You're next. Yep, you're next. You're next. Oh, I just missed him. Just missed him. That's okay. That's okay. Loop around. Having a good time here. Our infantry is just watching. I don't mind that. Let them uh, revel in our successes, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. On point with the uh, swordsmanship today. And as I say that, of course, I miss. Oof. Good stuff there. And our uh, our friend there isn't having such success. Ah, missed him again. Come on now. Come on now. Down you go, hopefully. No. Nope. Barely survived. Come on, I got them clumped up for you. Where, where is he? There he is. Oh man, they look so much- they, they look amazing when there's a bunch of them circling the enemy and, and firing. I cannot wait for that. Nice amount of damage there. Ooh, good stuff, good stuff. Could just get our infantry to charge, but I don't want to lose men needlessly, right? There we go. Back around. Hurting my horse, and that's really bothering me. We can see at least one arrow in somebody. I don't know if that's my arrow or our friend's arrow. Is he, he looks like he's out of uh, ammunition. Fair enough. Don't know how many kills he got. I will. I'm, I am curious to see how much work he did there. Oh, <laughs> came in from the side. Beautiful. I cannot wait to be charging in with cavalry. It will be absolutely glorious. Ah, just missed him. Oh, good block there. Using what, a mallet? Or an axe. That's a proper axe, I think. Let me show this noble son how it's done. That's how you hit a target. That's how you hit a target. All right, men. All right. <laughs> Pretty satisfied with how that went. Pretty satisfied with how that went. Take a look. One renown, one morale. A lot of effort for a little gain, but I like it. Because eight noble son, he uh, 
Got one kill. Alright, very well. Very well. Something to get him excited for what lies ahead with us, right? A little bit of loot as well. That was a blacksmith's hammer that was blocking me, was it? <laughs> we'll go ahead and take it further down south. Um, now let's see at uh, Karahan if we can maybe offload that salt we're carrying. Potentially make a decent profit this far away. Nah, it's still kind of cheap. Again, in the sands, salt will likely be cheap. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get rid of some of this wasteful armor, though. The rugged gambeson, simply not worth it for us. Nothing really is. Uh, by the way, just to let y'all know, I'm, I'm fully aware that I made a silly mistake and uh, got rid of my uh, my headgear, which hurts. Uh, but in character, I'm, I'm pretending like, oh, Partia is like, I would have never made that mistake. Um... <laughs> Partly because I'm furious that I made that mistake. Uh, okay, let's travel further away and uh, see what we can pick up further down. Seems as though we've improved significantly in our one-handed skills. So either I practice my edge placement or uh, I just gain some hit points. I'm going to go ahead and say edge placement because uh, that last battle really reflected our finesse with the blade. So let's go with edge placement there. Cool. I really like how this game does the leveling up through actions. That's how I always want leveling up to be in uh, in roleplay games. I just think it makes it so much more uh, immersive. Uh, and let's go ahead and see if we can't get rid of the salt here. Nah, it's still about the same price. The iron ore is supposedly cheap here. I have no confidence in those rumors, and they're not really a decent enough profit margin to convince me. Um, but let's perhaps see if, yes, there are some Kuzate tribal warriors we can bring on. Oh, hang on. Because eight tribal warriors can become because eight raiders and because eight heavy horse archers, yes. Expensive, but worth it. We're really low on money. Might need to offload that salt sooner rather than later. And here I thought we'd be, um, we'd be comfortable pretty soon. Now we'll quickly make our way past Husan Fuluk again. We have no actual aggression, but we'll make our way past there quickly and, uh, maybe, maybe visit Husan Fuluk to, to make some trades. 17 days worth of food, about what, five, four, or s four days or so approximately worth of, uh, of wages on hand. But let's be very careful about that. Let's go ahead and rush it. The only time I'm going to travel through the map slowly, by the way, is when I have something to share or to speak about. Um, don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to make us watch slow marches through, uh, through the lands. Over to uh, Tamne Castle, Tamnu. Tam Tamna. Mine's getting a little tight, which is awkward to think about considering how wealthy we were at the top of this session. But hopefully this uh, salt is not a bad trade for us. The war continues. Let's request entry here. They will let me in. Nothing to do with the dungeon, nothing to do anywhere here. I, I assume that they've uh, fallen back. Kuka is in trouble as well. Let's head towards Doka then. There is, oh, Ragea is all the way down here. This this war is ravaging the land. And my uh, my coffers are close to empty. Ooh, hello. A drum. Let us speak. Tell me your name. Forgive me if I have met you before and do not remember the occasion, for I have seen many warriors come to this land and pass swiftly into shallow graves. Mine will, will hopefully not be one of those. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I am a drum of the Banu Saran, a clan of the Asarai. I am Lord of Razi. I don't know your name, but no matter. Some say there is greater honor to found a great lineage than to be, than to be born with one. Wow, I've, I've heard that before. Some do say that. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? It was never a prouder moment for the Bani Saran. The bravest and most valiant son of our clan, Nimr, led off a large group of Asarai warriors to fight for the Empire, for gold and glory. I went with them. When we saw the Batanian archers come down from the hills, Nimr was ready. He gave the word, we held our shields over our heads as the arrows rained down, then threw our javelins and charged. We cut them down. Then the Valandian knights came. We were attacked on two sides, and the Emperor, who could have sent men to save us, took his time. Perhaps he wanted the best of the Asarai to die, lest we become too powerful later. But that betrayal was nothing compared to what we received from our fellow Asarai of the Bani Kild. Nimr returned in well-deserved glory. A daughter of the Bani Kild took on 
uh, took an interest in him, and they had a secret affair, as the youth sometimes do, as heroes do. But Nimr's acts wounded the Kildi's pride. They kidnapped him, slew him, and hung him in a cage in their market. We will forgive the Empire and the Valandians. The Kildis better not ask me that. Jeez. Thank you, Adram, for the uh, lesson in history. Dark times. Dark times. We've spoken to four of the ten that we need to speak to. And it seems our party might need some leveling up. No, the Imperial Infantrymen will level up after I've done all my recruits, just to keep things somewhat organized. Um, in my eyes, that would be nice. Now over to Doka, and hopefully selling off the salt. I'll, I'll maybe sell it for whatever price I can get uh, at this rate. Just to make sure. Oh, it's cheaper here. Are you kidding me? Ah. Seems I've, uh, I've forgotten some of the tricks that my parents had taught me. We are awfully low in, uh, in terms of our, our wealth. Okay, okay, no matter, no matter, no matter. We can always sell the blacksmith hammer for another day's worth of wages. I feel like salt is probably produced near here as well. Yeah, Kablab probably produces salt as well. Oof. Alright, one bad deal does not destroy our, uh, our entire uh, system, of course. Let's head on over here. No recruits available. Yeah, all these armies are coming through and recruiting everything they can. Uh, let me just check over here. I'm pretty sure this thing only... Oh, yeah, we can get some raw iron and stuff with it. Great. Go ahead and smelt that hardwood down. Or rather, refine it down. There we go. We can sell some of that for sure. We can sell some of that for sure. And salt here goes for 19. So crude iron, let's get rid of that. And the wrought iron as well. That's some good money. And as you saw, in fact, let me, uh, sorry, let me reset that. The uh, crude iron is over, uh, is selling for a higher price over here. 83% more expensive than usual. And the uh, wrought iron, same thing. 75% more expensive than usual. Wonderful. A little bit of money to keep us uh, going for a little bit longer. It's okay. The wealth, the wealth will come easily. A little bit of looting and, and, uh, and trading and, and we'll be fine. I might want to cut down some looters over here just to uh, maybe pick up some of what they're carrying. Ah, they're going to loop away from me. Fair enough. Down to Malul. We have 14 days of food. Desert bandits I also need to be kind of care careful with because they can have cavalry. These guys just have infantry, so maybe I'll chase after them. Uh, let's see. Salt here. Yes! Oh, thank God. As we sell it, the price will not drop. Good stuff. Not the biggest profit margin, but I'll take it for having carried it so far just to get it off of my uh, off of my wagons, as it were. Let's go ahead and, uh, yes, I'll take the, what, 100 or so extra wealth. Um, let's also bring upon some Asarai recruit. We can either make them Mameluk soldiers or tribesmen, and as Mameluks, they can end up on horseback, which I do like. So let's go ahead and, yes, pick up a few Asarai recruits and try to keep them alive, of course, as we go into battle. Maybe let's chase after these desert bandits. And I should actually give all my men experience, not just my uh, cavalry and all. And perhaps I should have purchased some horses there to speed us up. We're at 5.2, which is not bad. Prisoners slowing us down. Uh, but as we get some more footmen on horses, it'll be better for us. Let's head to Hubiar here. And see if we can't uh, recruit some troops, perhaps. No. Been emptied out because of What's happening nearby? Very nearby. Any goods here selling for cheap? The other thing you can actually do, which I think is really cool, and we might do this more often, is you can actually go in... Uh, let's get rid of our... We don't need to drag them along. But if we, if you go to the tavern, uh, we're actually able to interact with people. And uh, the rumors that we see by default... That's certainly not what he's playing. There's too many instruments going on over here. I was hoping to hear his his, his jams. Um, but yeah, the rumors we hear uh, in the menu by default are rumors that we've come across in our travels. But, oh yeah, sure, some Calradian wine with some dates. I'll have that, thank you. Uh, but we can actually also speak. You have a need for fighters. You and your three mates. Sorry, I don't need any other men right now. We can speak to some townsmen to perhaps learn some more details. Um, Scabby Renana doesn't always remember those who've done our good service. It's good to know. <laughs> Hear rumors about the actual characters in the uh, in the area, perhaps? Ah, see? So, for example, now, I was talking to my uncle, 
and he tells me he bought some oil around here for cheap and took it to Razi. Said he made 35 of profit on each bundle. So oil selling at Razi, and I know Razi is relatively close. So maybe we'll pick up some oil here. But before we leave the tavern, which I must say looks quite beautiful, I do wish to speak to this man over here, Dalibal Frostbeard. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Partia, sir. Tell me about yourself. I'll tell you, but I don't know why you'd be interested. My parents died when I was young. My sister married. Her husband wanted my parents' farm, so he hired a devious man, a fast talker, who knew the law well. He said, I don't even remember what he said in court, but before the council, but the council awarded both of them the farm. It did not matter much. I always preferred the woods. I made a better living shooting squirrels and rabbits and selling fur. But I've been thinking, maybe I want to marry. And I guess I need more silver for that. Probably more than I can get from the squirrels. So people tell me that war leaders will pay for a good scout. And I know the woods well. Well, that seems a reasonable ambition. A good scout can command a high price. I know the woods well. I can move quickly in them. I'll tell you all about a war party from the branches it broke marching through. Right now I'm between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. Well, I could use a scout in my company. Perhaps one that is not so expensive. I cannot afford that just yet. Uh, but, but, good to know. Uh, I would likely want to get a warrior companion as my first companion, if I'm completely honest. Now, we want to pick up oil over here, as per the rumors, and perhaps head over to Razi. So let's go ahead and see oil and how much it costs. Um, 42, okay, Razi for 74. That's almost double, if that price holds. Let's take a little bit of a risk on this. We'll just purchase, say... Uh, eight. Well, actually, let's let's go for a rounder number. Let's go with ten. We'll pay four hundred and thirty. All right. Let's make our way to Razi, which is up over there. So pretty close. Make our way up, and see again if we can't engage uh, some along the way. Now, uh, Kablab might be interested in purchasing the oil off me as well. Oh, hello, looters. Three point seven. I'm three point nine. I should be able to crush them. Let's chase them down. Give our men some experience, of course. But if they get past Razi, I might want to loop around before we lose the price that's on the market right now. Because prices fluctuate. Uh, 74, you know what? How much should we buy it for? 400 and something, right? I, I really should start noting these down. But I'm pretty sure that's a okay profit. Go ahead and sell that. And let me actually, sorry, check in on... No, these horses are way too expensive. Our food will last us another 13 days. We have no variety, unfortunately, just grain and butter. And butter is running low. None to buy here, but perhaps there is mm, some dates we can purchase, maybe. Just to help with morale and just get us a little bit more food. Let's see if there aren't any soldiers we can add to our party. And further make our way over. I do wonder if there aren't other lords, sorry, of the... Uh, the Asarai that we can't speak to. Um, let's see. Among the Asarai, Unkid is in charge. Where is he? Oh, he's been taken prisoner at Dynastica. That's not good. <laughs> that's that's not good at all. Um, we do have some nobles last seen at Razi. Mara. Oh, this is everyone we have here. Or the Wheeler. I'm not interested in that quest. She might be nearby, but she's certainly not here. Uh, let's continue our journeys then. Over to Hubiar again. I I, I, <laughs> I think I will start writing down. I'm very tempted to make a journal and keep a track of uh, all of our trades and whatnot. Munim. Let's head to Deir Hawa. Deir. Oh, Thais. Let us speak to you. Thais. 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 I'm trying to... I'm gonna get my, uh, voices right. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? My name is Partia, sir. I am Thais of the Banu Kild, the most ancient and noble of the Asarai lineages. I am Lord of Hubiar. I know your name, and from what they say about you, I say that many a grieving widow knows too. But that is no concern of mine. Well, I guess that's a decent reputation to have. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? A sad day for the Banu Kild. But we had our vengeance. There was a warrior named Nimr of the Bani Saran. He was brave but arrogant. 
Of course, the young people loved him. He wanted to lead men to fight with the Empire, and though there was no gain for us, Unkid let him. Unkid can be weak sometimes. Many Kildi youth went with him. They died in their hundreds, and there was no gain except for Nimr, who, for some reason, people considered a hero. It was despicable how they fawned on him. Of course, Nimr's arrogance doubled, and doubled again, and then he dealt us a great insult. Oh. <laughs> I will not say what that insult was, because it no longer exists. We wiped it out, in the traditional way. You may ask someone else about that. Thank you, Dice. I've uh, already learned about that. <laughs> Very well, another step taken over here. How far are we here? Halfway done with this quest, actually. Fair enough. Now over at Deir Hoa. Let's see if we can't recruit. Okay. Darim, do you have any quests for me? Maybe I can access some of these. Alas, he does not. He does not. Fair enough. Moving on, we've, we've done some good work, at, uh, you know, heading down here. It's worked out well for us. We've become a more formidable force, that's for sure. Let's see if we can't engage some of these looters. They're, they're quite fast, but we are faster. We are faster. Zemaye uh, next, perhaps? See if we can't get some more, uh, intercept some more lords on their way to the front lines. But first, all right, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. So here's a little trick for you. Uh, you can hold down, I believe it's the right mouse button, and then use the arrow keys. Yes. To, uh, to actually control your direction of movement. And you can use that to try and pin looters and stuff down into, like, places they can't escape from. So, for example, here, we've kind of got him... And try to cut him off. There we go. And we can cut him off. Hopefully. Like, so, well, we've closed the gap a lot. Now it's just a matter of chasing in a straight line, so go ahead and do that. And we'll slaughter them. What do I want from you? Your lives. Not much else. Perhaps what you're carrying in your pockets, but uh, as, a, as, a, as a method of delivering justice. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Cavalry on me. Cavalry. Me. On me. Follow me. After me. There we go. Now let's go. Let's go back to the sword. Actually, that worked quite well for us earlier. Let's see if we can't bring that back. Horse archers. Horse archers attack. I said, horse archers attack. Infantry charge. There we go. We're okay. <laughs> I gotta. So I was uh, training my voice a little yesterday, and it started working a bit better, but as you can see, it's still a little wobbly at times. Uh, but I, I want I want to just train it and nail it, because it'll be so awesome. A little bit of renowned morale. It, it just feels so cool. <laughs> uh, plundered some gold, that's good. Got another prisoner, fair enough. And, oh, a small spurred axe. That we can tear apart for some good uh, gains, I think. But uh, let's go ahead and fix the map, please. <laughs> it will throw me off. Gulasan of the Beni Zalal. Interesting uh, title. Let's intercept them. I want to explore the world. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Partia, sir. Nice. And that's the other thing, is like, I've got charm and stuff, right? That help my relations. I am Gulasan of the Beni Zalal. I do not believe we have any quarrel with you. You do not. The Beni Zalal are the keepers of the secrets. Of the secret. Well, the one secret. We watch from the shadows. Make foes of us at your peril. I have a quick question. Ah, never mind. I must leave now. Interesting. Again, I want to explore the world and see what is what there is to learn, right? See if we can't chase these looters down now. They're going to get away from me. That's fine. Recruit some troops here. Why not? And we do have, I think, enough days worth of food. 11 days of food. Some horses available? No, but there is grain available. And butter. But butter's kind of pricey. Huh, <laughs> clay. Razi is too far. That price will not be maintained by the time we get there. Go ahead and purchase some grain. And maybe make our way towards Jamaye and then Kasira. I think there we'll uh, tear apart the, uh, the loot we just gained and sell it for a decent profit. And again, hoping to intercept some more nobles on their way to the front. Perhaps uh, 
I would like to obtain some more cavalry. We can recruit them straight out of uh, out of towns and stuff. Olives here are pretty cheap. Hmm. Let me see if I can't... Uh, oh, it's just a small town. No tavern here. Let's take a walk through the lands real quick. Take a walk through the lands. It's pretty neat to just be able to go in and explore like this. Some people we can speak to if we wish to, or perhaps uh, just some townsmen I wish to speak to actually. See if we can't pick up a, a rumor or two about what's happening with trade. If there are any benefits, Asarai peasant, would you happen to know anything? Speak to me. Brigades Imperials have been raiding across the border. People better wake up. You can also learn news about the world, which is pretty neat. I'm not going to spend too much time here. If I can't find any information quick, I will, uh, I'll move on. Don't worry. But, I mean, if you want to see more of this, then let me know that. Glad to have full bellies. Good to hear. People are well fed. Time to butcher and salt your meat for the winter. All right, all right. I think we are uh, not going to have much luck here. A decent man, Bilia is, as rich folk go. Always keeps a bit of grain to help out any who ate their seed over the winter. Knows the worth of a good name, he does. Ah, very well. Not much to glean here, it seems. Let's move onwards. Let's leave here and over towards where we headed to Kasira. Or we can go to Iakis as well. It's kind of en route. Maybe a little bit closer even. Let's see if we can't uh, maybe at Hunab recruit some, uh, some more brothers to fight alongside. I want cavalry. Oh, there's the Asarai recruit and the Asarai tribesmen. Okay, they can both go down the Mameluk soldier route. Worried about that for a second. I don't want to get too big because, again, then we start paying, you know, higher wages and we uh, need more food and things like that. So I want to maintain my size at a decent uh, amount here. Hidden hand. Let's speak. See if he's heard of me. It seems some have started hearing of me. You don't think you know me. My name is Partia, sir. Nice. My relation has increased with hidden hand. I am ap... Apis of the Hand. I do not believe we have any quarrel with you. You do not. Um, when you walk these roads, my friend, know that nothing escapes the notice of the Hidden Hand. Lords and emperors come and go, but we remain. I'm going to make my, uh, my leave. An interesting group. Now we can head to the tavern. Don't want to shove him off the edge of these stairs. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Make our way over. And perhaps gather some rumors on route, if possible. Ooh, my profit of three. I'm okay. I'm looking for someone. Oh no, never mind. I found him already. Found him already. I believe the tavern is right here. Go inside, see if there aren't more rumors, perhaps. Oh, good day to you. Lots of people lined up over here. Silversmith, brewers. I have no wealth to, uh... To use on such endeavors just quite yet. But we will be purchasing workshops and building caravans. Selag the Healer. Ooh. Yeah! This guy's into it. I'm into it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But alas, I'm here on business. Looks out for those who served him well. That's good to know. Nothing to share. Very Shalar. Good day to you. Now again, I'm not reading everything, but if you'd prefer me to, you let me know. Let's make our way. We do have uh, Selag the Healer there we can speak to, but I'm not uh, not interested in, in trying to take on a, a companion just quite yet. Let's ransom our prisoner. And enter the smithy as well. We can smelt this. Get some more wood out of it. I don't have all the required material. Oh, right, of course. Go ahead and refine some more down. Do that. And then we can go ahead and trade some of that off. It's a good way to make money. It is selling for higher prices than usual, which is excellent. And uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this junk as well that we've picked up along the way. Junk, I call it. Yeah, a little bit of money made. So let's head over to... Well, actually, any troops we can pick up? Nah, no quests to do either. My hope is we'll get to Kasira, Sanala, Kuyaz, and then we get back into Imperial land, but not Imperial land we're at war with. 
little more comfortable with uh, with heading heading that way. Uh, perhaps let's go to uh, Abba here, and then to Kafir Hatif, over to Askar. Sure, let's do that, and see if we can't uh, engage some more looters or, or bandits en route. On the topic of which, ooh, Asarai Mamaluk Axeman. He's already leveled up a bit. Could use some Asarai infantry. Lazif of Abba, do you have any tasks for me? Or perhaps speaking to him will endear him to me? You don't know me. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I am Lazif. I've lived all my life here, working the land as do my kin. Fair enough. I must leave. He's not an ability, so my, uh, my charming ways didn't break the ice with him, I suppose. Any buying or selling I can do here? Everything is pricey. Oh, imagine coming here with cheese to sell. Alright. 4.9 speed. I am a 5.1. Let me see, actually, really quickly. I didn't check for horses. I should purchase more horses, really. I am keeping my eye on that quest that we have as well. Uh, I don't want to backtrack too much. That's too far. I want to keep an eye on, um, well, quite a few things, obviously. I want to speed up. I want to make our way over as was planned, and perhaps I should have uh, gone north along the coast. That's probably where I'm more likely to meet uh, the nobles who are marching to war right now. Kafir Hatif. Nothing too fancy to recruit here. Ooh, you have a quest for me. Deliver the herd to Razi. Oof, that's all the way back. No, no. Afraid not. And by the time there, by the time I get there, Razi is too close to the front. Who knows who'll hold it when I arrive. But Askar down here. Let's go ahead and see if it has anything to offer. Perhaps a noble to speak to who's uh, resting? No. What do you have? Gangs. Not interested in getting involved with the gangs here. But I am perhaps interested in purchasing a Sumter horse off you. 5.1. Sure. It's, it's cheap, right? It's 37 is, is is fine. We might also want to get some more food, because food is tight, and grain here is cheap. Okay. Here is where we load up on some grain. Not that much grain. Maybe... Maybe 30. That should be enough. It'll last us 20 days. Food variety is kind of low, but for that, we can, of course, buy some butter. Butter always does the trick. A little bit of butter. And perhaps even some oil. Spending more than I initially anticipated, but hey, why not? Food variety is now giving us a plus one to morale. The people shall uh, feast well, at least for now. Over to uh, Wadar here. Maybe we can hit these bandits, these looters up. They're slow, slightly slower than us. I don't mind skipping past Wadar. I would like to... Uh, Engage in some more combat here and train the troops a bit more as well. Oof, this is getting riskier and riskier. Bedouin rovers, there's some cavalry there. Now we outnumber them greatly, so we should be fine. 5.4 versus my 5.1, they're fast. Come on now. Gained a level in stewardship. <laughs> what, from just riding around? Surrender or die, brigand. Don't intend to take you alive. Again, I really want to train my troops and whatnot. Horse archers with me. Horse archers. Horse bowmen. Attack. Give them hell. Just get them to get involved and start firing. To give them hell, as it were. Oh, come on. Don't let my good work of that first battle be completely lost here. Getting too uh, too confident, perhaps. All right, let's, let's give ourselves a bigger run-up so I can... Better prepare myself. Infantry! 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 No, just not hearing me. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. That's what you get for trying something uh, different every once in a while. There we go. There we go. There we go. Horse archers. 
Interesting. I'm going to check up on why it's not working, but for now, I'm going to have to use my regular commands. That victory was rather easy. <laughs> Renown morale. Yeah, we did decently across the board. I'd like to see some of my uh, lower tier soldiers rank up, gain a little bit of gold as well. That's good. How's the loot looking from that? Mm, just some trash, really. What is our party looking? Imperial recruit. How many infantrymen we have? Nine. So let's go ahead and get our tenth. And the rest will all be archers. Our Asarai recruit can be upgraded. One of them can. Let's wait until we get some more ready to upgrade. Yeah. Good stuff. Wow, we uh, really rode out, didn't we? Up to Kuyas next, and then we can take this uh, little... Oh, I hope we can transfer from here. Hmm. Zoomed out. It looks very connected, but... Uh, yeah, we're moving that way, so I would assume so. Over to Ein Balik. Maybe we'll engage some more bandits and looters en route. And perhaps we shall uh, pick up some goods here. Don't want to engage anyone with cavalry. Go ahead and recruit Asarai Skirmisher. Down to Archer and Master Archer. I wouldn't mind that. We're getting those higher tier troops involved, aren't we? Now, let's leave it for now. Let's leave it be for now. Hur of Ein Balik. Bandit base near Einbalik. Not interested. Not interested. I have, uh, I have a bigger task at hand. Let's head over to Hiblet and see if we can't engage someone or something en route. Ooh, 22 looters. All infantry. 4.3 speed, minus 5. That should be a fun fight. That should be a fun fight. Oh, that sh that'll be a dangerous fight if I engage them all. This might be risky, but you know what? Overconfidence and hubris is potentially my middle name. Partia hubris I'll eat. It's slightly in our favor, but uh, again, it's all a matter of the risks I take, right? It's kind of dark as well. Move out! Soldiers! Horse bowmen! Uh, let's have them, At them attack. Horse archers. Yeah, not picking me up. Alright, that's fine. Let's um, soften them. There we go. A little work. Spreading the love a little bit. Taking some stones. Alright, time to go in now. Maybe we took too much damage. Let's charge in and try and provide some rear charges for support. Here we come. Cavalry still getting some work done. Oh, where's that skill from earlier? Where's it gone? After I've increased the damage I can do, <laughs> I'm having a harder time hitting. <laughs> Though I am getting some people hit with my, uh, my horses. On the bright side, I'm distracting all these people uh, so our infantry have fewer people to deal with. Charge up there. Good shot. Well, decent shot. Come on now. There we go. Finally. In time for my men to see. <laughs> Excellent. Emboldened by uh, by my men, it seems. Should be the other way around. Oh, they flee. They flee like cowards. Come on. Fall. Fall before me. Nice. In they go. They fought well. They fought well. Come on, come on. Don't let them out. Don't steal my... <laughs> now no one got him. Down he goes. <laughs> Great to see. Beautifully done. And one more. I believe that's all of them. Well done, men! Glorious victory. That's a, that's a comparatively a lot of renown. And some good morale as well. That's the benefit of taking on a risky situation. Now, we have taken some hurt, so you need to be careful. That's a lot of gold plundered. A good number of prisoners we can sell off. 
and oh my, look at that loot. Beautiful. Now that is a nice haul. That is a battle that we should celebrate. For sure. Let's make our way over to, uh, where is it, to uh, Kiyaz and, uh, and see if we can't uh, sell some of the, the stuff we picked up there. You know, melt it down, sell it, heal en route as well, of course. And over here, any, any other men to join us? Alas, no. Let me check, though. Imperial recruit, three of them. Time to add some archers into the mix. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to abandon you. Now, Kuzait tribal warriors, we can upgrade to either horsemen or raiders. And the Kuzait noble's son to a Kuzait Khan Khankli? Looks pretty good. We're about to make some decent money off the hall, so let's do those upgrades. Wonderful. Over to Bak. We, we unfortunately have not intercepted more nobles. Seems they must be at the front. But let's speak, uh, speak here to see if there's anything to be done. Anything to be purchased. Nothing to be sold. Kuyaz will likely uh, buy things at a decent price, I, 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 I suspect. I suspect. Ooh, look at that, a newborn. What's happening with our party here? This is all stuff we've already seen, right? Yes. Okay, over to Kuyaz. And here, hopefully, we can... Oh, there's some people to speak with. Incense traders, brewers. Um, but first, to the smithy. Let us refine some of this hardwood down. And let us smelt what we can. Oh, man. I don't want to use any of these, so I'm fine smelting it all down. I will likely have to rest at one point, though. Yes, and unfortunately, it seems I must rest now. Uh, let me very quickly just check in my inventory this thing. One-handed, of course. Tempting, isn't it? Nah. I'm happy with my iron scimitar. It's, it's done well for me. Done well for me. Let me very quickly see if we can't recruit any troops here. Nope, unfortunately. But let's trade what we can. Oil is cheap here. I don't even remember what I, what I bought to trade. Go to our armor. This is all junk except for what I have locked. Rugged Gambeson. Yeah, all junk. Good money to be made there. And let's go ahead and wait here for some time. Wait until the next day morning. And we'll trade uh, everything else, or you know, smelt everything else and trade that out. Perhaps that's enough time. Yep. Smelt you and the wooden hammer as well. Sure, why not? And let's just might as well refine what we can while we're here. Now, a good thing to check would be. If I really want to get specific here, a good thing to check would be over here. We do miscellaneous. Crude iron is going for 42. Wrought iron for 84. Iron for 168. Steel for 333. Okay. I, I can't, I can't do, uh... Hmm. Let me just check those prices again real quick, sorry. So... Iron is, yes, better than wrought iron. Which is better than crude iron. So if cr cr uh, iron over rot, rot over crude. Iron over rot, rot over crude. There's iron for me, which I... Ah, not going to sit and do the math on the twos and whatnot. But that there there is some something to be said there for what we can trade. For now, though, let's go ahead and simply, yes, remove the crude iron, which is selling at a high price, if I saw that right. Yep, good. I'm not going to make my way back to Iakis for this sale. Raw iron, also selling high. And iron, of course. Very nice. And then the steel as well. Wow. Ain't that a deal. Ain't that a deal. And look at that. Look at that. So if we take a look at our... Uh, Journal again, rebuilding our clan has gone well. Just a companion that we need to hire. Just a companion that we need to hire. Let's see if we can't find one nearby. Over here, uh, 
Is Mutton Pie a potential companion? Overpriced Raw Materials, Army of Poachers, I am the Angel. Gang Leader, it said, I thought. Yep. We need Wanderers. They're the ones who, uh, or, who are willing to stop wandering and join. That battle was 100% worth it. 100% worth it. Over to, uh, to, to Billis Castle, I suppose. In we go, and let's see if we can't find anyone here. Surely they'll allow me in? Yes. I'm one of yours. We are the same, you and I. We could, what we could do is we could come down and uh, purchase something from, uh, from around here and perhaps trade it far away. Like flax? I wonder if we can get that cheaply here, and then as we move north into uh, other Imperial territories, see what we can uh, get for it, if it's cheap here. Pretty cheap. Let's try it, why not, right? Let's go ahead and pick up... Maybe 20? I think 20 is a fair... Yeah, sure, let's do that. No horses or anything to pick up, we've got enough food for days, so we're fine. Any troops we can pick up? More Asarai tribesmen and recruits, perhaps? I was really hoping to pick up some more cavalry down here. We got some, but not nearly as much as I'd hoped. Down here at Tubulus. Um, yeah, recruit troops. They're so, they're within reach, you know. Nothing of Tubulus. No. Train troops. That typically means I have to take them out for some uh, sorties. Which, you know, maybe, actually. They'll eventually have access. Like, this all obviously cycles in and out. So Tulul, let us speak. Perhaps I could have some of his men join my party, or her men, I see, uh, join my party to, uh, to help. Oh no, his men. My apologies. It's dark. I am Tulul. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I am sure someone with your reputation knows that nothing in this world is as valuable as the weight of your word. Speak truthfully with me, and I shall do the same with you. Well, I heard you may need some help with a problem, my friend. Things are getting a bit rough around these parts. I have some lads who help me out with local troublemakers, but they wouldn't last long against real warriors. Maybe you could take them out. Show them what actual war is about. I'm not expecting you to make them fit for a noble's retinue, but at least I want to give the bandits around here some pause for thought. I'll help if I can. Maybe you could take them in your party for a while, until they get a bit of experience. Any other way? Or if you can assign a companion for a while, well, that's not an option. I'll take your men into my party and show them... A bit of the world. Cool. I feel like that fits my character. One thing. If one or two die, that's the fortunes of war. Things could go even worse if we get raided and have no one who can fight back. But try not to get them all massacred. These men will take some risks for me, but not have their lives thrown away to no purpose. Of course, Tulum. I will, uh, I will do my best to ensure they are both safe, but also engaged. Uh... Nathan is up there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and speak to him. Let's go ahead and be a bit more realistic, too. I'm not going to take a horse up these stairs, right? <laughs> we could be fast or we could be real. Again, you let me know what you prefer. Standing lookout here, staring at the wall. Keep him busy. You don't know me. Beautiful. Sometimes just speaking to them does the trick. I love it. Let us depart and see if we can't get something better. It's a small increase to relations, so I doubt we'll get much. Yeah. It's okay. We need to get up to 5 for that and 10 for this. We'll, we'll make our way. Soon enough, I'm sure he'll have a quest for us. So let's just take a look at the quest we did take on. Train troops. Um, Tulul of Tubilis, a landowner, asked you to train. He gave you 10 men. Hoping to take them back when once they have some experience. The easiest way to train them without putting them in too much danger is to attack weak parties. That's a hot tip. We can perhaps go raiding across... Well, not raiding, but uh, you know, eliminating looters and stuff uh, across the, uh, the bridge, so to speak, here. Or we can take a look and, and try and maybe defend the homeland a bit more uh, before we cross over and continue our uh, adventures and our, our quest for information. In fact, let me intercept the, the caravan here. Not to attack. Not that kind of interception. Caravan is owned by Amaldolf the Oil Presser. Okay, under the protection of whoever. What news of the market? Bought some cow from Kasira for 197 to sell at Kar Banseth for 211. 
211. That sounds far. Car Van Seth. Thank you. Uh, carry on then. Farewell. Are you far? Oh, yeah. Wow. Very far. But I might be headed in that direction. If I can get cow for a cheaper price uh, elsewhere, that might not be bad. I didn't quite care for the profit margin he pointed out, though it wasn't bad. Uh, maybe we should uh, seek a better deal. 4.9. I'm a 4.8. Oh, we were slowed down, haven't we? Maybe some uh, some prisoners I should offload. I'm uh, not interested in going up against 27 people. I don't want to lose the uh, the men that were entrusted to me, of course. That would be a quite a shameful display, I think. Again, right, Partia is a little nervous about uh, the situation at hand, considering his previous time leading men poorly. He's done it well a few times, but he's done it poorly that one crucial time. Now, Unkid is here. And he is the uh, same speed as me, so perhaps I can catch him as he chases down these looters. And perhaps I can even help him. And uh, perhaps he would take kindly to me. I would like to make a good impression with the man I wish to serve in the future. And who I have been serving indirectly in, in the past as well, to be fair. Come on now. Oh, closing that gap. Ah, of course. Yes! Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. My name is Partia, sir. May I ask your name? I know his name. I am Unkid, Sultan of the Asarai. I am Lord of Kuyaz and Sanala. I don't know your name, but no matter. Oh. Some say there is greater honor to found a great lineage than to be born with one. I've heard this before. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? It was a tragedy that gnawed at the roots of all the great families of Calradia, even ours so far away from the battle. We heard that the Empire was making war on the Sturgeons, or maybe it was the other way around. I thought that we had no stake in this quarrel, but Nimr, a fiery young hero from the Bani Saran, asked me for permission to take some young warriors, eager for glory. The Empire had left us alone for a while, and Neretzis was offering silver for men, so I thought, why not? Let them help the Empire. <sighs> I should have known. The best course with wars is to have as little to do with them as you possibly can. So Nimr went and fought and won glory, but also got a number of men killed, especially those of the Bani killed. And he became boastful and arrogant. And then, well, that is the beginning of the great feud between Saranis and Kildis, or Saranis and Kildis. The rest of the story I should perhaps leave for someone else. Thank you, Unkid. Sultan. I am one of your people. Uh, it seems he's beaten me to Ein Balik to get some recruits for himself, so I can't scoop any up. I love how that's actually a thing. Um, but, folks, if we take a look at our journal, uh, this quest, we have 17 days to do, so we shall, you know, hurry upon it. Um, Neretzi's Folly, we've gone beyond halfway, and we've almost rebuilt our clan. Spent a little bit of money, so we're below that 2k mark, but, you know, not, not nearly that far below. And if we take a look at our party, it seems... Some of our recruits are, yes, yeah, still ready for upgrades. Well aware of that. Over at Ein Balik, can we actually, sorry, trade anything off? No, flax here is, of course, cheap. Um, wow, I can actually sell charcoal for a decent price elsewhere. And even even hardwood goes for a decent price in certain, certain places. Interesting. Now, 4.8 speed. If I were to buy a few more. Footmen on horses is plus 0.04. You can see how having cavalry helps us a lot. Plus 0.04. Doesn't change. So we'll we'll leave it be for now. Uh, I don't want to spend that money if I don't have to. Um, but folks, here at Ein Balik is perhaps where we shall call this chapter to its close. Rumors come of the front line and what do we hear? We hear that Hassan Fulk still belongs to the enemy and they have in fact made gains to uh, Shibal Zumur Castle and all the way down to Tamnu, which, if I recall correctly, when I passed by those lands, was, uh, was safe. Now the map has, uh, unfortunately twisted and turned, so let me quickly fix that. There we go. I think that's more correct. Uh, but yes, our journey through the homeland has been uh, quite fruitful, I would say. We've gained a decent bit of wealth after taking a few risks in some early investments, and we've learned a lot about the artifact we carry. Now, after having journeyed through the deserts, 
of the Asarai. We are going to turn back north once more and visit perhaps Ortizia, uh, you know, Sargod, Charas, travel through these lands and see what else we can learn and perhaps finally obtain that uh, companion that we seek. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. As always, if you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to make this a more thrilling experience for you, what you've enjoyed, what I could improve on. But the journey will continue. You can check out the schedule under the community tab for the page, uh, and I'll actually maybe share it in the pinned comment down below so you can keep up to date about when the next episode is going to release. It should be on Wednesday. That feels so far away. I might just drop a surprise episode on uh, on Monday because I can't resist. Y'all let me know what you would like. In the meanwhile, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I and Partia Al-Eat bid you farewell. <laughs>